The intersection of fashion and faith. Our focus, a young woman who made a stunning decision after beating out 10,000 other young women in a Victoria's Secret model search. But ultimately, instead of walking the runway, she decided to walk away, bearing her soul instead of her flesh. And she's not the only one. There's a new group of girls in town, models, intent on making modesty sexy. But are they using their faith as a business plan? Here's ABC's Cecilia Vega for our series, Faith Matters. The Victoria's Secret runway, the fame, the fortune. Kylie Basuti was the it girl at the top of her game, beating out 10,000 women to win the Victoria's Secret model search competition. The winner of the 2009 Victoria's Secret model search is Kylie. <laughs> But in a stunning twist, Kylie decided overnight to ditch the runway for Jesus. I watched the tape of you winning and you're screaming. You're so excited. Mm -hmm. So when did that change? You know, being sent out after that on different photo shoots and having my pictures end up on pornographic sites. And when I brought it to my modeling agency, they basically said, well, all the Victoria's Secret models have pictures on pornographic websites. What do you expect? Was it your faith that made you finally say, I'm walking away? Yeah, God definitely convicted my heart about it. Victoria's Secret fame brought her big time jobs, like this racy spread for FHM magazine. During the shoot, I got to play with a little camera, basically portraying a long distance girlfriend, as a lot of girls probably do take sexy pictures of themselves in lingerie or you know, something to make their guys just like go crazy and want to see them. Thankfully, you know, I'm not doing those things anymore and I can find forgiveness in Christ for it and I now speak out against it. Today, Kylie is visiting the Mosaic Christian Church in Sacramento as part of her enlightenment speaking tour. Today, my goal is really just to share my story and how God really changed my life. From parents to preteens, the room is packed. Would you please welcome Kylie Basuti and Baby Basuti. She takes the stage, recounting an inappropriate moment with a photographer during a men's magazine shoot. I was already in lingerie and he wanted me to take more off. Um, and I really didn't want to do it. Kylie is part of a growing number of models ditching the spotlight for Christ and cashing in. What's your name? With a book, a new Christian clothing line. I just love this piece and nationwide speaking tours. In our society, um, the motto is that sex sells. Kylie's tell-all memoir, I'm No Angel, dishing on the industry's dark side, from nearly nude photo shoots to eating disorders. I knew a girl that had thrown up so much that it was just like an automatic thing for her. Even drinking lemonade, she would go and throw it up because of the calories and the sugar. When her book was released, Victoria's Secret pushed back, saying Kylie exaggerated her relationship with them. But it seems Kylie has used her racy past as a launch pad for a burgeoning business. You know, the, the fact that we're talking about what it is that you were doing as a Victoria's Secret model mm -hmm. is bringing attention to what you say you didn't want to bring attention to. Isn't there a hypocrisy in that? You mean with like the images? And, yeah, we're going to yeah. show your images in a swimsuit <laughs> on Nightline. I know, that's something that, you know, is hard for me and that I have to deal with now. You weren't mm -hmm. a top, top model. So are you just bashing the industry because you didn't make it? I'm not really here to bash the industry. I'm just here to tell what happened to me and from the eating disorders, my agency calling me a fat cow when I was 118 pounds. They called you that? Yeah. At 118 pounds and 5'10"? Yeah. I wonder what they'd say about um. me. <laughs> Kylie's former agency told us at no time has any model been called a fat cow, and they had no knowledge of any of her photos being used on porn sites. At the church book signing, Kylie's Christian fans can't get enough. Many of them are young girls struggling with insecurities. I just, I just want to tell you that you have inspired me so much. You're clearly a very beautiful young woman and you're wearing makeup and your hair is done and you've got high heels on and skinny pants on. How do you reconcile that with the message that you're teaching? Well, you know, I still believe in taking care of yourself and dressing nice. 
You don't have to like wear a burlap sack or anything. <laughs> so you could still be sexy and be an evangelical Christian? I only want to be sexy for my husband <laughs> now, you know, when we're alone. And so I don't want to go out in public and be that way for other men to see me. Like Kylie, Nicole Weider struggled to mix glamour with her faith. She too left the industry to become a Christian consultant. And I just wanted to be famous because I thought that that would be make me happy. But even at five foot ten, Nicole was told her curves posed a problem. My agent said my hips were too wide and she said that just the way I was built, I could never do that. And I was really embarrassed and I left that agency that day crying. Nicole's former agent told us she doesn't make statements like that to models. Four years later, Nicole has shunned her provocative past. Today, her faith is front and center, spending her days offering advice on everything from clothes to relationships. We tag along as she gives a couple of tweens a modesty makeover. You could just put a cute little cardigan over it so it, it's a little more covered up. I personally love polka dots. Anything with polka dots I just think is so cute. So you look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, modest is hottest. <laughs> you said modest is hottest. <laughs> And then I thought back to your pictures that I saw right before I came here. Yeah, it sort of led me to a crisis of, of who I was because here I was showing it all off, you know, posing all sexy and it just, it made me feel ashamed. When she's not a personal shopper, Nicole runs a website called Project Inspired where her Christian fans can find her message. It's another way that you can give your outfit a fashionable look without showing a lot of skin. God is the ultimate judge. This is one of Nicole's monthly God talks, reading scripture to young girls over video chat. Jesus tells us to examine our own motives and um, our own conduct instead of judging others. I am more fulfilled now that I have God in my life than I ever thought I could be by measuring up to what my agents wanted me to do or what the photographer thought I looked like. Back in Idaho, Kylie is working on designs for her new clothing line called God Inspired Fashion. Every design meeting starts with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we just pray that it will just change lives and soften hearts, Father God, and in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, so I think we were just going to open up and look at all the new designs and what everyone's been working on the last couple weeks. We try and stick with Bible verses rather than, you know, sayings or slogans. And so these Bible verses pretty much say, I love my husband and I love my wife. Why would you want all of these biblical verses all over your clothes? Um, it's just a way for me to kind of share my faith or, you know, share what I believe with other people. Her Psalm 23 scarf sold out in one day. And we have to keep producing more because everyone just loves this scarf. But at first glance, some of Kylie's clothes seem more appropriate for a night out. Tell me about this. this is for Girl, this is woman. for little girls. It's one of our, you know, nicer tops for church or school. I wonder if some people would say this isn't the most modest shirt out there. Oh, I'm sure they would. <laughs> <laughs> she may be on a crusade to cover up, but realizes to sell clothes aimed at young teens, you still need some edge. The X model factor edge, which has given these women a second chance at success. I don't regret anything that I've done because it's just a testament to how much I've changed since then. For Nightline, I'm Cecilia Vega in Manhattan Beach, California.